Raynell Martinez here, and the question I have to ask is, should they reboot the Michael Myers franchise Halloween again? Do we, should we see this? Like, let's be honest. As a writer, you've already seen the first Halloween, the John Carpenter one, and that is the best Halloween movie out of all of them. Halloween 2 and Halloween H2O, Halloween 20 years later, were the only three movies that really made sense in terms of a Laurie Strode storyline. You had the first Halloween, Michael Myers shows up, never seen anything like it before, even though there were other movies at the time that were kind of in the same vein. I believe that they were there was other scary movies. This was the first one that did it right. Then Halloween 2 came out, and it, was, it continued right from where um, Michael Myers just goes to the hospital after Laurie Strode. He gets blown up in the fire. And then in H2O, 20 years later, they talk about the fire and how he still lived. And it ended pretty much with uh, Laurie Strode chopping his head off. Those are the three Halloween movies, three Halloween movies that make the most sense. Halloween 3 was different. Halloween 4, 5, 6, all the other ones were just, you know, trying to capitalize off making Michael Myers like a saw, like a, someone that is, they liked the Jigsaw character and they kept it going. And I think the same thing about these writers from Saw that are doing it is that the first Saw made a lot of sense. It was a $1 million budget. It was based on a short film that they did, you know, to, to, to gain money. And it was really simple premise. Two guys locked in a, in a room, a bathroom somewhere, and in a, an abandoned area, and they have chains on them. And the only way they can survive is to cut the chains, not the chains, but their leg. And would you cut your own leg off to survive? And of course, you're not going to. You're going to wait and wait and wait. And then finally, at the end, it built, and the guy had to cut his leg off. Then as the Saw movies went on, that same guy, the doctor, ends up joining Jigsaw, even though he had to cut his leg off for him, and he ends up, and everything was just built in a way that the, 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 the contraptions were just built, and people would end up in them, and there was no escape for them. They would just, they made it that the, the accomplices just wanted to torture people and kill them, so it was stupid. So the first Saw was good. The second Saw was kind of an interesting take on it. It was a much bigger budget. It was a bigger franchise at the time. And Saw 3 got rid of Jigsaw. Saw 4 through the other ones, the ones that these writers for Halloween did, kind of weren't, you know, those were the ones that were kind of like just continue the franchise going. So now to reboot, remake, or recalibrate, or completely redo this Halloween, does anybody care to see a guy walking around with a butcher knife and a white mask and a mechanic suit, and in the year 2015, 16, 17, 18, from now on, if they're going to keep making them, where is this story going to set place? They they keep setting it in, like, you know, the suburbs, somewhere out in Ohio or Illinois or some places like that. But uh, I think people just don't care about Michael Myers. They like uh, They didn't care about Friday the 13th when that was rebooted. They didn't care about uh, Nightmare on Elm Street when that was rebooted. So it really feels like the budget for this one will be under $60 million, which is a lot. Just to say $60 million is a lot of money for a uh, Michael Myers budget. But is anybody going to care? Does anybody really care to see Michael Myers? And I think what they should do is they should treat this like, like, a, like a series, like a house of cards or you know, like a scandal or something where, could you imagine if Michael Myers was just a real guy? Does he talk? They never do that. They never have it that Michael Myers has a conversation with people because it takes away from the scary mystery of him. And also, is he going to be chasing Laurie Strode for the 40th time, killing her friends, killing her family? Do we really want to see Laurie Strode? So what is the story going to be? And I, 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 I wrote some stuff back in 2007 when they rebooted it, and from 2007 to 2009, I came up with about 13 movies for Michael because I treated him like a real person. And when, and when I had him fight people, people were able to fight him back, and they were able to kick his ass, and, you know, Michael was just trying to stab them 
while these people were defending themselves, fighting back. Michael Myers is not a UFC fighter. He's not He's not Tyler Maine. He's not a humongous giant hulk of a person that you can't kill. He's a normal guy trying to stab you. And if you have a gun, that's the end of Michael Myers. You just shoot him, he's dead. So he's always been a realistic killer. He wears the mask so that you don't take a photo of him or a selfie or something, and, and that's it. And also, why does he wear the mask when at the end of the day, everybody, Dr. Loomis has always been running around going, it's Michael Myers, it's free, and this is a photo of him. So who knows what they're going to do, but I'm interested in seeing it. I just kind of think it's going to be, I just kind of think that what's going to happen is they're going to make this movie. It might not be a success. People won't respond to this Michael Myers. And then that'll be the end of Michael Myers Halloween for many years until they reboot it again. Pick a good year for this to be set in. Pick strong characters that he's going to go after. Don't put any cops in it. Don't make it that there are cops looking for him. Keep this grounded. If you were a simple person sitting on your computer and this Michael Myers comes into your house to kill you, how how would you react? Would you go get a gun? Would you scream? What would, what would be the realistic setting for this? So they can't put him in a Miami or a New York or a Los Angeles or places like that. But there are other places around the United States that Michael would drive to. And why would he drive there? Think about Michael's family. Think about his story. What is he doing and who's helping him? So think about that. And also come up with a good name. You can't call it Halloween or Halloween 3D. Come up with a good name. 